Good morning, I say Welcome back to another episode of GMC. I hope you're all having a great day. I'm Jake Calderon, and I'll be your host for this week's episode. Today we have a selection of great segments. We have another edition of Coyote of the Week, a news story about the safety precautions before returning back to school for sports, a quick update in what's trending right now, and more. Let's get started because Good Morning Guys Say starts right now. With COVID-19 cases constantly fluctuating, we have no idea what the future may hold for returning to school. However, for the time being, COVID cases have been going down and outdoor competitive high school sports may now resume in LA County. Let's hand it over to Maya Guiza, who has information on what sports teams may look like and what COVID precautions are being taken. As you may already know, the Castaic Athletics Department is reopening on campus and many athletes have already begun to return to school for conditioning. Mr. McDonald gives us his perspective on returning athletics. You know, it's really important for us as, as uh, Coyotes to have the opportunity, when safe, to, to come together. And I think that the athletics returning to conditioning on campus, you know, gives us an opportunity and gives you as students and as athletes an opportunity to be on campus, an opportunity to work with your coaches, to see your friends, you know, eight feet apart, six feet apart. You know, you still have the opportunity to be here and getting some physical exercise. So I think it's really important that you're back on campus doing those things. So the guidelines that are established right now are pretty much the guidelines that have been in place for quite some time. Um, wearing your mask, unless there's some significant physical exertion, then obviously you can take those masks off. Um, but for athletes, you know, maintaining your distance, your social distance, you know, washing hands, sanitizing. Certainly we're at the place where it's just condi conditioning, meaning we're just doing, you know, exercising, running, preparing to return to some type of, you know, meaningful practices. But right now we're just conditioning and getting our bodies in shape for, you know, future competitions. Understanding that we're in a situation that's not ideal and that we don't want things to shut down again. So being able to follow the guidelines, be safe, you know, and, and maintain, you know, the same level of consistency that we had with, with, you know, the athletic conditioning last semester that we can do this semester. So I, I think the challenges are, are for all of us, you know, we're all dealing with a challenging situation. If anything, this kind of helps, you know, the ability to come back and be a part of the campus again. I think most people are, would be willing to and are willing to do whatever it takes. Despite the many roadblocks that stand in our way, Mr. McDonald still has hope for future competitions. So we do know that some sports will be coming back to competition. Certainly it will depend upon the physicality of the sport and the contact and those such things. Um, and the guidance from the CIF and the Foothill League will be the determining factor of how and when and if we come back with competition. But certainly I'm hopeful. Um, and certainly I think that if we can get through this period of time with conditioning as safely as possible and move on to some more practicing, then the prospect of returning to competition is even greater. The athletes of Castaic are excited to return to our school for conditioning, and we can't wait to see what the semester will bring. For Good Morning Castaic, I'm Maya Giza. Thank you, Maya. Hopefully all of this will start clearing up and we can return to whatever the new normal will be. Now it's time for the Coyote of the Week, where one student is picked for their outstanding behavior or work and receives a certificate of achievement and a $15 gift card to Barnes & Noble, provided by Logix Credit. Good morning, Katie. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. I wanted to nominate you as Student of the Week because you do such a really good job in computer science and in geometry. You go above and beyond every assignment, every lab, again in both classes. So thank, thank you. you for doing that and you're welcome. Um, so congratulations from the staff and of course myself um, and keep up, uh, keep up the good work. What are your plans for the future? Um, one of my plans for the future is to attend the US Air Force Academy. Oh, nice. And then are you gonna study something specific? Are, do you have something in mind? 
Um, I'm not sure yet because I want to explore different types of in different areas. That is a good idea. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, that is a really good idea. Thank you. Um, congratulations again. Thank you. Congrats, Katie. Many teachers in schools make turning on your camera for your virtual classes is mandatory, which can sometimes be hard for students. But do you think that keeping your camera on should be required? Easy Caliber and Triple gives us an inside look at what students and teachers here at Cass State High School think about making turning your cameras on mandatory. Good morning, Coyotes. I hope everyone is doing well. Today, I'm going to be talking about something we've all had to become familiar with during these past few months, Zoom. And more specifically, the contradicting sides of whether or not students should be required to turn their cameras on. Let's jump right in. As students everywhere have had to use Zoom nearly every day, people have been asking this question more and more. As many teachers have pointed out, participation is typically a large part of a student's grade and is a very important skill for students to develop. But with cameras off, students tend to not interact or participate as much. For teachers all over, many have said that it's disheartening and makes it difficult to teach students without a response. But there's also another side to this debate. The majority of students feel uncomfortable with turning on their cameras for varying reasons. Some students might feel anxious being on camera, as some feel that it's different from being in person. Students have also found it to be somewhat distracting that they can constantly see themselves on the screen, which makes it hard to concentrate. Lots of us also don't usually think about this, but all of us come from different backgrounds and home environments. Students might not be comfortable with where they're learning from. There might also be things that are distracting the background, such as younger siblings running by or pets that might distract other students as well. So how are teachers handling their classes with this situation? According to edweek.org, 77% of teachers say that cameras must be kept on, but 42% are willing to make exceptions, 17% are stricter, only accepting cameras off with a parent request, and 18% said that there were no exceptions. Hopefully, coming from both sides, we can see the pros and cons of having cameras turned on in Zoom classes. Reporting for Good Morning Cal Steg, my name is Izzy Caliber and Triple. Between being focused on school and homework, it can be hard to stay up to date with everything going on in today's world. But thanks to Xander Grable, we have a quick update on what's trending now. Over to you, Xander. Hey, Xander Grable here. Welcome to another episode of What's Trending. The purpose of this segment is to highlight events and things that are trending in our society. The theme of this What's Trending episode is the music industry. Currently on the Billboard charts, Olivia Rodrigo's Driver's License holds the number one spot and has been doing so for six weeks. Driver's License has taken the music industry by storm. I've heard it everywhere, and you have too. Speaking of Driver's License, I just got mine. Behind the scenes, rapper Bobby Shmurda was released from jail on February 23rd after being sentenced to nearly seven years in jail. He was let out early on accounts of his good behavior in prison. Bobby was convicted in 2016 on accounts of drug trafficking and a gang shooting sting. In the electronic dance genre, the popular artist duo known as Daft Punk recently broke up. They posted an 8 minute long video on their YouTube page which depicts one of the members self-destructing. Daft Punk's publicist confirmed that the duo was indeed breaking up, but offered no reason as to why. And with that, we come to the end of our What's Trending segment for this week. Hope to see you next time, Coyotes. Back over to you, Jacob. Let's take a quick break from our stories and jump over to our announcements. Henry? Do you love to travel? Have you ever dreamt of going to Europe? Consider joining Miss Perez's group on our adventure to Paris and Barcelona in June of 2022. Sign up by March 15th to get a lower price. There will be an interest meeting on Wednesday, March 3rd. Check out the Daily Bulletin on the school website for more details. Extra, extra, next year journalism will be elective open to all grades, no experience required. Just a willingness to learn and have fun. Sign up during registration to be part of our student-run school newspaper. Help support your Coyote football team by purchasing a pair of Castay Coyote slides. Check out the Daily Bulletin for website link or the QR code to buy yours today. Sale ends February 28th, so order yours today. Clubs are a great way to meet new people, gain leadership skills, and connect with others. Check out the Daily Bulletin to find out more about joining the Art Club, the Anime Club, the Red Cross Club, the Environmental Club, and the Key Club. Check out the Daily Bulletin for daily wellness check-ins from Bring Change to Mind. They have some great topics this week. Thanks for tuning in to this week's announcements. Well, Coyotes, that's all we have for this week's episode. Make sure to follow our Instagram and Twitter at GMCastake. Join us next week for our next episode of Good Morning Castake. You can also watch replays of our show on our YouTube channel at Good Morning Castake. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next week.